Mom, where's mom? Mother. Oh. <laughs> the Lord of Seduction, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta see the mom. The mom is probably such a milf, man. She's the Lord of Seduction. Welcome back to another episode of Marimashita Irumakun. It's a lot easier to say the Japanese title actually than the English name, so I'm gonna use that now instead of saying just Irumakun. What happened last time? We got fucking betrayed. So, I've been talking about where's the antagonist? I feel like we're just kind of doing our day-to-day -day school lives, but we don't have some kind of opposing faction or somebody to beat, somebody to overcome. The fucking antagonists were within us. They were among us the entire time. Now, Kiriwo though, Kiriwo and Bal, are they really evil? I mean, based off of what Bao was saying, he said it's time to destroy the school, right? The wording of that was kind of odd because I wonder if they're talking about literally the physical destruction of the school, you know, destroying Babylus, or are they talking about toppling the current, you know, the way that the system is ran, you know, how Kitty was talking about closing the power gap using his magical apparatus. Maybe it's just all a lie. Maybe it's there's some part to it that, you know, we, we are really going to just topple the current system and create an equality for all kind of thing, but I don't think that's the case with Bell. I, I think that they're just simply just bad. Kiriwo, <laughs> the way that he slicked his bangs up really reminded me of Aizen back in Bleach. If you've seen Bleach, you know the part where Aizen was supposed to be a good guy this entire time in the Soul Society arc, and psych, he was the bad guy, and he had his bangs down the entire time, and then when he turned that, slicked his hair up, and that's what Kiriwo was looking like. We got to know that his power has a barrier, which is obviously going to be a problem because even if you aren't the most offensive strongest, if you have an impenetrable barrier, that's kind of pretty hard to deal with. Now, it's only two of them though. I'm sure there might be other people more involved, but another uh, thing to consider is Sullivan is in jail. This is all Bal's plan and this is quite convenient for him because now Sullivan can't, you know, get in play because he can't just solve the situation. But. I also think from a story perspective, if Sullivan were to kind of carry the entire time, if he were to just always be around and handle every problem, it'd be boring, right? So instead, Sullivan is, you know, benched, but we have Kalego. Kalego is still act acting as, you know, the head chairman, head chair demon. It's kind of impressive to see how much trust Sullivan has of all the teachers. Kaligo was the one selected to be the chair demon. We knew that Kaligo was important, but I didn't really understand like how strong, like how important he was. He seems to be pretty much second in command in terms of like the hierarchy of different teachers. We're gonna go into probably not right away into the like battling these like I don't know, just like the destruction of Babylon's arc because we still have like the fireworks to play off, right? But Kitty, well, how could you? We had sleepovers and she was actually saying this feels like a dream. How much of this is true and how much isn't? I don't really know. Let's find out in today's episode. Our family, but Sullivan's fucking killed captain! He can't come! What the fuck? Didn't you <laughs> remember? Gramps called us! <laughs> I think Yuruma was too busy playing uh, video games at that time, but... Rank up? You get to rank up? Yo, our fireworks is gonna be so good, we're definitely gonna rank up as a team, right? But... As a team, Kitty will. I. I could. <sighs> oh wait, what? Luxury battler room. Kitty will. Kitty will. Kitty will. This is pretty cool too. Get okay, gold. What's the third prize? Oh, this is a grand prize. Rank up. Party wide rank up. Two ranks! Yo, that's pretty huge! Asmodeus would be huge! Oh, the rest of the members also got gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. The leader gets to rank up twice, and everyone else gets one. So we can catch up to- well, not catch up to Asmodeus, because he'd be rank 5 and we'd be rank 4, but it's a pretty big jump. Like, our fireworks is gonna really blow everyone out the water, though. These shitheads have no- like, they have no clue. Just wait. Just look at that smirk. Just you fucking wait. Oh my god. The fireworks is actually gonna just like amaze everybody. Like without a doubt it's going to. What's his prep? Define destroy though. You mean actually just like destroy destroy or change the system with our new power gap idealistic goal.
They'll hear the bell. And once the bell goes off, then they attack. Kiryu, how can you just talk like this so casually? The more ca- They're just gonna fucking explode in the middle of the campus? You're fine with this? I- I-, I The barrier. What's this barrier gonna do? His necklace. The machine that gives, you know, magic. It can like transfer magic, right? So what's this gonna do? I wanna give, you know, Kiryu the benefit of the doubt. But, uh, he might just be a shitty person. Or maybe I'm getting baited again. Uh, maybe Kitty will betray his bow because he's like, Oh, that's not what we agreed with, but... I don't know. Who are none the wiser? Okay, yeah. Alright, alright. If you're gonna say none the wiser, then he's just truly really just using us. That necklace keeps getting, you know, focused on. Hmm. How could he do this, man? Eden was gonna be so hurt. He, we were getting so, like... We have so much in common. We're, like... I thought we were friends, man. How could you do this? I, how did you find him so easily? He was like, what? How, what are you doing here? Play cool. Play, play cool. What you, what? This is our secret room right that no one knows about or the ring gotcha that makes a lot more sense because we, we saw how they first met this is pretty much how they first met. but what activates that it's not always the case it's just sometimes it gets like really attracted to it what triggered this uh for the for the fireworks i was grabbing something important What is it? I can't see shit, it's just a block of light to me. What the f huh? The fuck? That's the da 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 da. Uh, what? Can they hear us? They don't know we're here. It's special glass we can't... It's soundproof. And they can't see us. Meaning this is the perfect place to attack below because we also have, you know, vision on all of them. Yeah, okay, so the power gap... So that is still his dream, but maybe we interpreted it wrong. Okay. And? What, when you fucking do an explosion on the masses when the bell rings? What, is he trying to like close the power gap by trying to kill all these demons with magic already? I don't know. It's, he said that's gonna be a big casualty, but... I, I, it can't be just like that. Oh no, dude! They're- He's gonna get hurt! Oh, dude, no! Stop it! Showing us more intimate scenes like this between the two, all the friendships, all the things that we had in common, dude. Oh, when he betrays us, it's gonna hurt even more. <laughs> yeah, make your resolve to cause, like, casualty on the fucking masses? That's what you're preparing? Yes, we're trying to rank up, but uh, he didn't even know about the prices, right? I wonder if we're able to convince Kiribu to change his mind. Maybe he's been deceived by his, you know, his big bro. Maybe Bao is deceiving him more than Kiribu is deceiving us. But I want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he really is a good guy. He's just in a bad position. And Iruma will basically be allowed and be able to convince Kiribu, right? To turn his back on them and join us because... For the sake of his goal that we can relate to so much, maybe we can really convince Kiriwo to, you know, not be evil and join us instead. 
Look at this. Kiyo is starting to realize Irima is so sincere. But... Maybe, just maybe, he'll turn his back on his big bro. Or so alike. Then join us, stop being evil! Oh? Who's that? Whoa? Tragic backstory? Is that a sister? Something ha- oh? Guess I'll, I guess we'll get to know more about him later with that backstory, but... <gasps> I'm ready! How many wants to see if I was for sure, right? Oh, she's keeping a close eye on Iruma like that. Look at her flushing, making sure, like, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm peeking for sure, though. Acting chair demon, don't worry. Kale goes crush. <laughs> Sullivan's still in jail. More decorations for the fucking launch pad. Dabi. Oh, this is as Modi's is out. Also, mom, where's mom? Mother. Oh. <laughs> the Lord of Seduction, right? <laughs> oh, I gotta see the mom. The mom is probably such a milf, man. She's the Lord of Seduction. Okay, Clara's big family. Babies are heavy. Stacked for three days. Look at these little Claras, dude. Where's daddy, though? Sabro's getting ready. Oh my god. His little sister that was apparently dying. His bigger brother who left him and challenged him to be his rival. And his dad that told him to be the Demon King. It was all a lie! <laughs> I guess Opera can still visit us, but Sullivan's gone. Yep. Well, he seems very eccentric and careless like that, but I'm sure he truly does have plans. It's just, he's so OP that he always keeps his promises. Okay, he's gonna show up then in time for Iruma. Okay, okay. He looks very evil. Dude, how can you do this to us, man? And that's the episode. So, I want to believe that Kitty was actually a good person. Deep inside, because he has such an idealistic goal that, you know, really aligns with Iruma. They really have a lot in common. But was it all just a lie? Or was Kitty really saying that with truth, but they're just the side that he hasn't really told, you know, Iruma and them. And the goal of, you know, evening out the playing field is... By causing a mass casual, like a fucking, it's basically huge, ca uh, what's, what's fuck, the word, casuality? Is that the word? I, f I forget. Basically, do attack on the school, even if innocent demons without magic may be caught up in the attack. If we get rid of the strong ones too, maybe this is how we topple the system and build ground up with this new way of, you know, I don't know, with the magical apparatus. <sighs> Could it be that simple? I don't know, but I just hope that maybe Iruma can convince Kiriwo to abandon that path and join us because there was a time when we were talking in the secret room about how hopeful Iruma was towards the school, right? And to rank up together and have a goal together. I just, I think that there might be still that path like, it's, it, the bridge isn't burnt, and Iruma does seem like the person that's able to always take the high road and convince people to join his side and, you know, make new connections. I think it really fits to Iruma's character to, like, I don't think we're gonna, maybe we'll have to fight Bal and Kiryu for a bit, but maybe we can convince Kiryu. Probably not Bal. I, maybe Sullivan's gonna, I, I, maybe Kaligo's gonna take care of Bal, but Kiryu himself... It just seems like a waste of a character with such an ambitious goal that aligns with Iruma to just dispose of him like that. But maybe if he doesn't join us, maybe if he does, you know, if, if we're not able to save him, maybe we can inherit his goal. And even though they were approaching it in a very evil and negative way, Iruma can 
adopt it and have a different method of you know closing the power gap i don't really know i don't really know because like we talking about trying to create a new goal a new ambition some some kind of goal for iduma to aspire for and right now we're just ranking up we don't and we're trying to find a goal but right now this goal is huge and it really does align with everything that iduma you know that 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 iduma is all about so i don't know he seems to have like a really sad backstory with his sister and the way that he keeps touching that little purple thing in his ear really it's really telling us that it's important i don't know what that is but i guess we'll find out soon enough but hey if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists in my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll go push that my small channel to recommend us. I have a chance to compete with my favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.